are joined by SUNY Maritime head coach uh, Justin Maharis, senior midfielder Brett Trodden, and sophomore attacker Matt DeMeo. Uh, coach, if you wouldn't mind opening with a brief statement on the game, and we'll have a couple questions. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, going in at this point in the tour NCAA tournament, uh, if you make it here, you're a pretty good team. And uh, it was pretty evident today that uh, you saw two evenly matched teams. Uh, they fought for 60 minutes, plus some bonus lacrosse. And uh, we we're fortunate to come out uh, with a win. Okay. We'll open up to questions. Uh, Coach, for you guys, I mean, a lot of action throughout the whole game, like you mentioned, a really back and forth game where Grove City was able to go on a run early. You guys responded. Talk to me a little bit about the, the end of the game where in the fourth you guys are down, you rattle off some goals, and then all of a sudden they end two goals uh, to tie it up. Where's your guys' mentality out as a team going into overtime? Uh, you know what? Uh, you know, we, we had, what, a three-goal run mm -hmm. to, to end it? And then they came back, obviously. Uh, you know, going into overtime, I saw, I saw the defense come up because, you know, they did let the goal up. I just gave – I honestly, I went each and every one and gave them a hug. I said, hey, we're going to be okay. We're going to fight through this. And uh, going into overtime, they made two stops in a row. And uh, these two guys uh, came through with a, with a pretty good goal at the end. Going off that, Coach, how do you feel about your, your senior goalie's performance? I mean, 18 saves in the conference championship. Comes out with a stellar 19. And a huge save there to start the overtime period. I mean, just right off the shaft down there on the far side. How do you feel about his performance going into tomorrow as well? Uh, yeah, you know, with going back to our conference championship game, uh, he had uh, 18 saves, and uh, right now he's your hot. He's the hot. He's a pretty hot goalie right now, and uh, it was obvious today that uh, you know we needed him, and he stepped up. Couldn't be more proud for the guy. Yeah, can you tell me about? Uh, I know Chase mentioned it a little bit earlier. You come into the game and you're down a four goal deficit early on, and it kind of been a game of runs. What was the difference maker for you guys to really turn it on at the end where you dominated for maybe 15 minutes? Uh, you know, that's kind of been uh, the way our season's been going. Uh, as much as I tell these guys no slow starts or, you know, let's not have these guys get ahead, uh, we, <laughs> you know, we find somehow we find uh, our way behind 5-1, you know, like today or, you know, down three goals, you know, whatever it is. But then all of a sudden, uh, you know, they flip the switch and uh, they turn it up and they never look back. Of course, you guys were going against uh, percentage-wise best face-off man in the country um, this season for 2019, the freshman Grant Evans. And of course, tomorrow going up against the guy who's the most face-off wins in the country in Brett Malampi. You only got eight today. What, do you have any strategies going forward and how you're going to try to not win them, but maybe limit the success of the other team, just try to maybe dirty up the battle at the yeah. Oh, uh, You know, I mean, we've been in this situation before. Um, we know at this point, uh, you know, at the face-off in, in between the lines that we just got to fight and make it a 50-50 ground ball and uh, hope uh, that Maritime comes up with it. And I know Sam mentioned it. You're going against Salisbury tomorrow. How have you prepped for that already, or how do you, in such a quick turnaround, prep for such a big game tomorrow? Uh, you know, going into this week, uh, well, going into Sunday, uh, finding out that we had a playing game, uh, we knew that we had to take it one game at a time. Um, don't look ahead. Um, yeah, without a doubt, uh, you know, the winner of this game was going to face uh, arguably the number one team in the country. And, uh, you know, at this point, uh, every day is a gift. Like I've been telling these guys, uh, you know, and anything could happen. Brett? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that's, a, that's okay. <laughs> uh, just take us through the, uh, the game winner in overtime. A little nice one-on-one uh, -on -one move around the left side. Uh, just take us through that. Yeah, well, I got uh, stripped. Um, I don't know to, uh, what was it with thirty seconds left, 13. and then they went down and scored. So I obviously wanted to get the ball back to score and you know redeem myself a little bit. So that's basically what it was. They didn't slide. I inside rolled and then uh, just buried it. So simple as that. That's it. That's it. <laughs> no more than that. Matt, for you, you had a lot of success today. Obviously, the seven goals kind of really setting the pace offensively. What were you seeing that was allowing you to finish the reason? Uh, well, they were sliding very fast from the crease, so I told my teammates, uh, throw me the ball when they dodge. The guy's going to be coming. They put it right on my stick, so it was easy to finish the ball. Yeah, and you talk about those passes, a couple of them coming from Trotten. You're welcome. Two, you got little duo. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> One, we were talking about it all day on the broadcast that you were actually in the in the rankings between you two for top and points, and all you had was assists up until that last goal. Tell me about your mindset as a distributor, and then as you say, kind of just switching and wanting to attack it and score yourself. Well, it's been like that all season. I'm not. I'm really not the best shooter on the team, so I, you know, I just play my role and draw the double. And uh, a few of our guys were just getting open, so I just hit them on their stick. And Matt's one of the best finishers in the country, so it's easy. Just throw him the ball, and then he just scores. So it's easy for me. Making you look good. <laughs> yes. Uh, Matt, in the third quarter, you guys were struggling to score on offense, and then there was a play with the ball kind of got loose in front of the net with a bunch of tra traffic. Can you tell me how you were able to come up with that ball? Uh, well, it was a pass I to, that to him. <laughs> not going to lie. I scored that. And it was a low pass, so I just – you know, I just took yeah, it. I kind of, kind of took it I from him. It, yeah. I just flipped it in the goal. The goalie was low because I think he thought he had it. No, so. I, I did have it. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have it. Replay the film. Yeah, we actually uh, showed your face up. Because I didn't score it, so I mean, it makes sense. We actually corrected it in the stat books. So Thank you. You're good to go. But, Thank you. Um, yeah, well, that was definitely an interesting play there. And uh, Tell me about like how you just decided to like scoop that up. I mean, anyone could have kind of just called yeah. it quits on that play. Oh, well, it was just there. It was a bad pass to start. Whoever threw <laughs> it, I don't know why. But it was, it was on the ground, kind of, so I just figured I'd get it myself and just try to beat the goalie when he was low already. And how do you guys feel about going into tomorrow, both of you, against a really top-notch defense in Salisbury, although they are younger this year than they have been in the past. So how is your game plan on attacking them? Just, you know, keep, you know, Playing our game, and you know, like Coach said, each game's a gift. So we have we didn't really think about Salisbury yet. We just thought about Grove City. So we're just gonna come out and play hard like we have all year, and you know, just let it come to us. Yeah. Well, uh, our coach Gene said every every uh, game played the same same way, and uh, yeah. So we're gonna watch some film tonight, and if he sees anything different, we'll change it. But for the most part, we're gonna stay the same. So. Coach, gonna be a long day for you. You're gonna be uh, watching a little bit of film and trying to see what you can, what you can pick up uh, between today and tomorrow. Well, I really want to try and enjoy this win, this overtime win. Uh, you know, I know we're gonna go back to the hotel. We're gonna get some dinner. Uh, you know, hopefully at least an hour or two to you know we could talk about and enjoy it as a team. And then after that, you know, I gotta, I guess you know, I gotta flip the switch and go back to coach mode and uh, see see what we could do uh, for tomorrow. Congratulations on the win today. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.